Dylan, why do you think job seekers need career coach these days or why it's important to have a career coach? Well, if you look at it, um, you know, in America here, we're a society that I would say revolves around sports. We put our athletes on pedestals, right? And in a lot of businesses, we even bring that, um, that masculinity, if you will, mm -hmm. of athleticism into it. And we talk about going to battling, going to war and all this kind of stuff. Well, here's the reality of it. The best of the best, they all have coaches. The best strategists in business have coaches. Michael Jordan would, would, would forever be Michael Jordan, regardless if he had Phil, Phil Jackson or not. But because of Phil Jackson, he is the Michael Jordan that we all know, right? And so most of us look to having a coach, a mentor, a guide whenever we need it and things are not going well. Yes. Um, that to me is, again, the scarcity thinking. That's the ac bass backwards, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. Because when you have a coach or a guide in play, it's like, it's like someone taking you through a museum and telling you everything that you need to know about the Mona Lisa, but they did not paint the Mona Lisa. That's what a coach does for you. A coach is able to tell you about the game without having to remove you from the game. A coach can see you as you should be, not as you are. A coach can see the holes and a coach can guide you because that coach has the experience that they've taken relative action on and now they can take that experience and give it to you along with the tools and resources so you can now collapse time. So why have a coach? Instead of waiting two years, three years to move into that VP role that's your dream job, when you have a coach, you can condense that down because the coach has been there. The coach also knows what the pitfalls are outside of the job because that's one thing that as job seekers, we don't think, you know, we get the VP title, but we forget about the damage that it does with our wife or our husband and kids. What the coach does is keeps it all in check because the coach has lived it. Yes. And so to me, it's an invaluable. Hire a coach before you even get a job. Yeah. My first day of entrepreneurship, 100%, was February 6th. Mm. That was a Thursday. The very next Wednesday, I lied to you. I said the first money I spent was to write a $2,000 check to sponsor Women's Entrepreneurship Week. Mm. The first check that I wrote was actually to my coach. Before I made a dollar, before I did anything else, yes. I hired my coach back. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. I know how to build business. I know how to be effective. But what I needed or what I chose in that moment was to have some guidance to keep all of this in check and keep all of this in check. Yeah. And having a car, it, it gives you kind of a direction, a purpose, an intention where you want to go and what steps you are taking on daily basis to reach to that goal. And not that when you need it to have a coach, because as you mentioned, there are besides the job, there's all other perspectives there or other things that surrounding you, the environment, the family, the friends also affect you and you need that to be checked or someone you know to check on you and make you accountable of what your actions are well here's the reality of things when you get that job and you move into the role you have kpis we all have kpis make it this many calls take this many meetings do this many activities you should yield xyz results yes well here's where a coach comes into play now you have kpis that are not key performance indicators they're key personality indicators so I know if I make, if I'm a recruiter and I make 100 calls a day and whatever the, the average close rate is, I know that I should be able to place, let's say, five people a day, right? Yeah. And if I place five people a day and I do that five days a week, four months a week, right, and I place 20, then I should yield this amount, whether it's uh, title, whether it's W2, whatever the result is. Yeah. Now, what if... When you work with a coach, you have key personality indicators. So if I wake up every morning and I meditate, I wake up every morning and I read, I wake up every morning, I move my body, I wake up every morning, get in tune with my emotions. At the end of the quarter, just like I would have made that $40,000 commission check, I would have peace, love, and happiness. Yeah. Totally That's the agree. importance of having a coach. Yeah. Totally agree with you. We need to have that in our lives. I know that we are all busy, but waking up half an hour early, taking a self-care before loving ourselves, before loving others is very important because you cannot give if you don't have it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for sharing that, Dylan. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of the career coach, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and tune in for next time for another question with Dylan.